Perfect. So, evening, guys. Welcome to our stretch and stretch and reset and nice fresh start to the next week ahead. Those of you who would like to use the playlist this evening, I've just popped it in the chat. Those of you catching up on demand, you should have the playlist link as well in the email that I've sent around if you need it. So grab that now. Tonight, we're gonna to be working through a few stretches specifically focused on the lower back and also kind of around the knee and hamstring area. In general, we're gonna be quite focused on lower and spinal today um, from what you guys have sent over and requested for me. So we're gonna get started. Press play on your playlist whenever you are ready and we'll get cracking. Just make sure you've got some water nearby and the only other thing you need is your strap that you are using today. We're gonna to pop the cushion down on the floor and start off in our cross-legged position. Now, as always, cross them the opposite way for me. <laughs> Whichever way you've got them, cross them the other way. Well done. We're just gonna start off today by closing down the eyes and we're just gonna take three really deep and controlled breaths here together. So we can take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. We're gonna start off with a few shoulder rolls backwards. So we're gonna take the shoulders up to the ears, all the way back, round and down. And we're gonna work through 10 backwards and then 10 forwards. So we're just gonna do a little bit of a wake up for the upper body, but not too much today. Well done, guys. Great work. And when you're ready, switching forwards, bring those shoulders back, up, forwards and down. Working through 10 this side as well. Great work, well done. Well done guys, halfway through. Perfect. And linking those hands together, we're gonna to turn them out, lift up to the sky above, and we're gonna tip over to the right hand side, just stretching a little bit down through the armpit, down through the side, and starting to work into that spine just a little bit. And over to the other side. As always throughout today's class, the key thing is just to keep that breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Well done, and over to the other side. Really nice guys, well done. And just one more time over the other way. Now we're gonna be holding a lot of our stretches today for quite a sustained duration of time. Now the reason for that is to really help us to work into those areas and also start teaching the body as well how to relax those muscles. Back to the middle, shake those hands off, give the shoulders a, shoulders a wave. We're gonna put the right hand behind us. The left hand comes to the right knee. Nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, we're just gonna twist round. Again, starting to wake up that spine into the lower back and the hips. Well done. And in five, four, three, two, and one, back to the center. The right hand comes to the left knee, left hand goes behind. And on that exhale, we twist round. Oh, really starting to open up that back. Don't worry if anything feels a little bit uncomfortable at this point. 
as we work through today's session, things should start easing off and relaxing down. Well done, and in five, four, three, two, and one. Back to the center, well done guys. I'm just gonna turn to the side to demonstrate our next stretch. You guys stay where you are. Now I'm gonna work through our cat cows today, but from a seated position. So the reason for this is because it just helps with our core engagement a little bit more. And we're gonna be doing a few core stretches today. So popping your left and right hands onto the knees. And really simply, we're gonna bring the belly button in, round the shoulders, tip the head down, down that back. Push through the other way, bring the shoulders together, chest to the sky, head up and stretching through. Now we're gonna spend a minute here at your own pace, working through the cat cows as you wish. You may find that you're in the cat position and you wanna stay there, that's fine. You might find that from the cow position, you wanna stay there, maybe adding some twists from side to side or rotations, whatever your body needs today. There's gonna to be lots of options in today's class to deepen things or keep them looser. Remember that what is most important is that you listen to your own body and your own requirements. We all have different training plans, different goals, different schedules, different muscular anatomy. There's just so many things. So make sure that you're tuned in to what your body is saying and that you're following that. And last one now, guys. We're gonna come back to center and just grab yourself a little bit of a sip of water before we go into our first little bit of really deep lower body stretching. So taking the cushion out from underneath us, we're gonna bring the right leg forwards on the mat with the foot coming over to the left hand side and the knee to the right hand side. The left leg goes back behind us. And now we're going into our pigeon stretch, either on the hands or lowering onto the forearms, or if you wish, and have a lot of flexibility coming down to the floor. Now, today we're gonna to really be holding this stretch. We're gonna be down here for over a minute. And there's gonna be a lot of occasions where you notice that things are starting to tense up again really tune in and on every exhale, try and release any tension as well. Now your pillows nearby, feel free to use that to rest your arms or your head on if you need. Just close those eyes down, tune out. And really work into that hip. Now, for those of you who have been experiencing some knee tightness, I know there was a couple of you. This often isn't actually caused by the knee. It's caused by the hip sometimes or the ankle sometimes. It can, of course, be caused by the knee. But we're also stretching through the IT band in this stretch. We're stretching into the top area of the IT band, which is quite notoriously hard to reach. So being here is just going to help that as well. Holding for another 10. Keep the breathing going. And in five, four, three, two, and one. Coming back up onto those hands. Gonna take that right leg behind and the left leg crosses over. Instead, the left knee on the left hand side the right, the left foot, sorry, on the right hand side. And whenever you're ready, we're just gonna start lowering down into that position. Remember, if you wanna stay on your hands, that's completely fine. It's all about where you need to be. And once again, we're gonna be staying here for over a minute. So try and close those eyes down, tune out and just focus on that breathing. 
nice and deep. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Perhaps increasing the stretch as we go into the time. Remember on every exhale, trying to relax any tension. You might notice that actually you're tense in your bum or maybe your quad. Just release it off. Let it go. Well done, guys. Another 10 seconds. Really breathing through that stretch now. And in five, four, three, two, and one. Coming up onto those hands. We're gonna take both the feet behind us, tucking the toes, coming into our high plank, lower the knees to the floor, untuck the toes, chest comes down and we're pushing up into our cobra. Now you have a choice today. If you need a bit of a core stretch, keep those leg, legs narrow and tense and engage the bum. If you're looking for a bit of a hip stretch, widen them out and release that bum. That's gonna stretch through the front of those hips instead. So whatever you're after today, if you need, as always, feel free to lower down, shake those wrists off and come back up. Well done. Keep it going, Kaylee. Nice work. Well done. And in five, four, three, two, and one, lowering down to the floor. Feet come together, knees out to the side, and we're gonna push back into that child's pose. Into those hips. Bum coming nice, back onto the feet. Stretching those hands out in front of us as well. Working through that back. Now we're gonna be working through this flow today, twice, so we can see how the body starts to open up and really increase that depth and lengthening through our joints. When you're ready, tucking the toes, the bum is gonna go up to the sky into our downward dog. Now, this is the first time we've done a hamstring stretch today. So you may need to walk through your dog, raising each heel as you go, or you may feel already like you can pop both heels down to the floor, whatever works best for you. Well done, Gemma. Nice work, Hannah. Always keeping a slight bend in those knees. And when you're ready, we're gonna step the left foot through the middle of the hands, lower the right knee down, grab your cushion and slide it under the right knee if you need to. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> and coming up, I'm just gonna work into another hip stretch here. So grab yourself a quick sip of water if you need. We're going to take the hands behind the back, linking the fingers together. And then we're going to bend over our front leg. So we're going to lean into it, lift the hands up and over the back. And we're coming down onto the inside of the leg. Starting to work through the hip and also open up the chest as well. This is also a really good one for testing our balance. So don't worry if you go a little bit wavy, not a problem at all. 
Nice, Kaylee. And when you're ready, coming back up nice and slowly to our starting position. And we're gonna turn around to the right hand side and use the hand to bring the right foot up into the glute. Now, if you need, grab your band or your strap, loop your foot into it and use that as a bit of a lever to bring, ooh, she says, I'm very wobbly today, bring that into the glute. Now feel free to use a surface nearby if you need to keep yourself upright, or you may need to step the left leg slightly further forwards. Now, for those of you who have got quite tight quads, this is gonna be enough. For those of you who wanna take it a little bit further, just start to bend into that left leg and that's gonna increase the depth of that stretch for you. Well done. Not holding here for too long. Just another five, four, three, two, and one. Letting go. Bring that left knee back, pop that one onto your cushion instead, and step the right knee forwards. The hands come behind the back again, and we're gonna hinge into the inside of the right leg and take those arms up Ooh, over the back. Should feel a nice stretch down through the hip. Just testing our balance just a little bit. Probably a little bit of swaying in the back knee and the front ankle. All good for helping us develop stability in those joints. And in five, four, three, two, one, coming back up. Ooh. Twisting around to the left, going into our quad stretch on this side. Well done, grab a strap if you need. An option, of course, to bend through a little bit more and increase that stretch if you need it. If you feel fine where you are, then don't increase that stretch, totally up to you. Great work team. Nice. And in five, four, three, two, and one. Releasing that leg down. Just take a second to wiggle out your hips, wiggle out your shoulders. Have a big sip of water before we go into our flow and repeat. When you're ready, we're gonna start off with our pigeon stretch again. So coming forward with the right leg, the foot comes to the left of the mat and the knee out to the right hand side. And we're gonna lower into our pigeon. Now this is the second time we've done this. So you should hopefully notice that you're able to stretch even deeper into that hip. Once again, we're gonna hold for just over a minute. But this time, you should find it a little easier to tune out from the uncomfortableness. And hopefully you should find that bum relaxes a little bit more all by itself. Well done, Hannah. Close those eyes down if you haven't already. And remember, with each exhale, allow the body to release that tension. Well done. Staying here for another 15. Well done. And in five, four, 
three, two, and one. Back up onto those hands. Right leg back, left leg through. Foot to the right hand side of the mat, knee to the left hand side, and lowering down into that glute stretch for me. Now, again, we're going to stay here for just over a minute. So close those eyes down. And with every exhale, just allow yourself to sink a little bit deeper. Allow yourself to forget a little bit more that you're stretching out that hip and release a little bit more tension. Well done. Five, four, three, two, and one. Coming up onto those hands, taking both feet behind, going into our high plank, lowering the knees to the floor, untucking the toes, chest down, and we're coming back up into that cobra. Again, your choice, either legs narrow and bum tense for the core, or legs wide, and glutes relaxed to stretch through those front hips. Well done, Gemma. Nice, Kaylee. And in five, four, three, two, and one. Feet come together, knees out wide back into our child's pose. Now we're going to work for a few spinal rotations from here. Just starting to work through those hips before we go into some lying lower body stretches. So when you're ready, I'm just going to walk the fingers. You're going to walk them over to the left hand side to begin with. The head stays down, but you should start to feel a nice stretch through the right hand side of the body and around the back down to the left hip as well. Feel free to go as far round as you want to, where feels right for your body. You'll likely hit a point where you go, aha, that's it, that's where I need it. And then just stay there. Well done. And walking the hands back to the center. We're gonna feed the right hand under the left arm and just stretch through that shoulder while we're here as well. Still keep a focus on trying to make sure those feet are as near, sorry, the feet are near, yeah, the feet are near the bum. <laughs> make sure that your bum is back by your heels is what I meant to say so that we still stretch through that back as well. Not staying here for too long. Unfolding back to the center and walking those hands around to the right hand side now to feel that stretch from the left shoulder round the back across the thoracic spine and down into that right hip. As always, if anything is too much, just come back to that regular child's pose. Well done. Great work, I'm slowly walking those hands back to the middle. We're gonna feed the left hand under the right arm and just take a quick stretch through that left shoulder while we're here. Great work. When you're ready, coming back to center, tucking those toes, sending the bum right up to the sky 
and coming into our downward dog again. So you've done this once, so you might feel that the hamstrings were a little less tender this time. If you still need to walk through the feet though, that's, that's fine. You do you. Great work, guys. The gaze should be back, almost as if you're looking between your knees. Try and spread the shoulders. Don't let them cave, cave in towards one another. Try and spread them nice and wide. And with one final exhale, see if you can send that bum any higher. And in five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna bring that left foot through the middle. Slide the cushion underneath our right leg once more and go back into our quad stretch. So turning to the right, grabbing a hold of the right foot and bringing it into the glute, adding in a soft bend, if you wish, through the front leg to increase the stretch. But if you don't need it, then that's absolutely fine. Don't worry if you have a wobble or a fall. It happens to all of us. <laughs> Trust me, I think I spend more time falling over than I do actually on my feet most of the time. Again, this can be quite an intense stretch, so we're not going to hold it for too long. And in five, four, three, two, and one. Releasing that foot down and swapping over. So the left knee comes down to the cushion, the right leg comes forward. We're gonna twist, grab the left foot and come into that quad stretch on the left side. Again, option to increase that bend as well if you wanna bring it up into the hip a little bit and take it one step further. Well done. Talked about falling over and now I feel like I am going to wobble over. <laughs> I've jinxed it. Try to keep that gaze up and that chest open. And in five, four, three, two, and one. Lowering down. Grab yourself a nice sip of water before we move on to our next little section. Hopefully those hips are feeling nice and open after that little flow. We're gonna be coming onto our bums. So swivel around, pop your cushion under your bum and the legs are coming out in front of us. No rush, I'll wait for everyone to get there in their own time. Perfect. So we're stretching the legs out in front of us. We want a slight bend in the knees. So we're never flattening those legs to the floor, always just a little bend. Now this is gonna be different for everyone. For me, it's about two fists in height, but for you, it might be about a centimeter. Just wherever feels comfortable is fine. We're gonna work on some forward folds just to stretch through the backs of our hamstrings. So we're gonna take the arms up to parallel in front of us. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is hinge through the hips. So you're gonna hinge the hips forwards, bring the chest towards until you hit your point. When you start to feel that stretch in the back of the hamstrings, then lower the hands down onto the legs. Perhaps that your, that's your feet, perhaps that's your ankle, maybe that's your shins or your knees, that's fine. Now option here, if you've got tight calves and you wanna give them a good stretch, just tilt your toes back towards your head and that's gonna increase the amount of stretch that hits your calf from here. Option of course, to wrap the band and use that as a little bit of leverage to bring the toes back towards you if you need. You can also use your hands or perhaps you can just get them to flex without plenty of different options. Just holding here for another 30 seconds. Well done guys. Try to keep those shoulders relaxed. We don't want to build up any tension. We're trying to get rid of it. <laughs> and 
and just another 10. And in five, four, three, two, and one coming back up. We're just gonna work through the same thing, but single-sided now. So we can really work into each leg. So left foot stays out in front. The right foot's gonna come up and tuck out the way. You might need to wiggle around on your bum to get comfortable again. Arms come up to parallel once more. Fab, and we're gonna hinge. Try to get that chest as low as we can again. So hinging through the hip. And then when you're ready, lowering those hands down onto the leg wherever they need to be. Remember that slight bend in the knee and tilt those toes back towards the forehead if you wanna add in that calf stretch. Now, it's probably a little easier to use your band now that we're just focusing on one foot if you wanna add it in. Just wrap it around the ball of the foot and use it to kind of bring it towards you. That's gonna really increase the stretch through the lower half of the leg, but purely optional depending on what you and your body need today. Just gonna hold here for another 20 or so seconds. Can be quite intense, so remember to keep breathing through, in through the nose, out through the mouth. And in five, four, three, two, and one, coming up. Right leg goes out in front, left leg tucks in. Wiggle your bum around and get your comfy position. Arms up to parallel once you're ready. And then leaning through that hinge. So bringing the hinge down, chest down as far as it's gonna come. Feel the stretch, then lower the arms onto the leg, the ankle, the knee, the foot, wherever you are. And then add in that flexion. So add in that flexion of the foot or using your band, depending on what you'd like to do. Just in case you want to know the jazzy technical term, this is called plantar flexion, which always makes me laugh for some reason. So there you go. That's your fact of the day. <laughs> And with every exhale, just see if you can try and bring that chest a tiny bit lower towards the floor. Just holding for another 20. Close down his eyes. Focus on that breathing. And in five, four, three, two, and one. Lifting up, slide those cushions out from underneath your bum, pop them up to the top of the mat. Grab yourself one final sip of water. And we're gonna be lying down onto those backs for our final few stretches today. When you're ready, come and join me on the floor. We're gonna start with the feet flat to the floor, the knees bent. Wiggle yourself into your comfy position. I'm gonna give you a couple of seconds to get comfy. And then I'm just gonna start with some really simple windscreen wipers from left to right. So both knees together, going over to the left and then over to the right. Just working through that spine. We're gonna work on a few spinal stretches in the lying position before we work on a couple of intense glute stretches just to round off our session today. Keep them going guys. If you find a position and want to stick there, so if you get over to the left-hand side and think, oh, it's quite a nice stretch, feel free to stay there. Or perhaps you're comfortable wiping from side to side. Totally up to you. And bringing those legs back to the center, lowering the feet down to the floor. The right hand is gonna come up to the right hand side, the left hand to the right knee. We turn the head to face the right. 
and we're going to twist through that spine so the knee comes over to the left twisting through that spine don't worry if you hear a few cracks and pops we're just going to stay down in the spinal stretch for quite an elongated period today well done hannah nice kaylee should feel a little bit of a stretch in the chest maybe as well if you've been doing any upper body work this week the secondary kind of bit of this stretch is that you might feel it across the right shoulder and across the right bit of the chest as well. Nice work guys. And then five, four, three, two, and one, coming back to center, hug that right knee in and just give that hip a few rolls, maybe clockwise, maybe counterclockwise, just whatever you need to iron it out one last time. Right foot going back down to the floor, left arm out to the side, right hand to left knee, looking to the left and rolling over into our spinal stretch. Try to keep those eyes closed down, using my voice as a guide for the last few minutes of our session. Well done. And in five, four, three, two, and one. Coming back to center, hug that left knee in and give it a roll in its socket wherever you need. Perhaps you just actually want to take it out to the side with one hand, that's fine. Wherever you feel you need to work into it. And lowering the foot to the floor, our right foot's going to come up and join it. Nice. Okay, we're going to put the right foot up onto the left leg, leaning through the gap. We're going to take a hold of the back of the left hamstring. We're going to take a nice deep breath in. And as we breathe out, bring it in towards us. And starting to feel that really deep stretch down the side of the IT band, perhaps through the hamstring, in the hip, and the glute. We're going to stay here for a while today. So focus on the fact that with every exhale, you can just increase it a little bit further if you can. Well done. Closing those eyes down. Holding for another 15. Last chance to increase that stretch now. Five, four, three, two, and one. Releasing the legs, hugging them both into the chest now. I'm just gonna rock from side to side, from left to right, massaging out that spine against the floor. Again, don't worry if you topple over. <laughs> well done. A 
and coming back to center, lowering the feet to the floor. The left foot crosses on top of the right leg this time. Leaning through the gap, we take a hold of the back of the hamstring and start to bring that leg in towards us. Nice deep breath in. And on your next exhale, increasing that stretch. Closing those eyes down if you haven't already. Well done, Gemma. Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Well done. And in five, four, three, two, and one. Bringing those knees into the chest for me, rocking from left over to the right, from left, over to the right once more. Well done. Keeping it nice and relaxed. And when you're ready, keeping your eyes closed, we're just gonna lower those legs down to the floor. Pop the feet down, palms facing up to the ceiling with our arms by our side. I'm just gonna lie here together for the final minute with those eyes closed. Just a minute to tune out from your week, tune out from everything around you. And I'll check back in with you when it's time to finish. Keep breathing. When you're ready, starting to bring some movement to the fingertips and the toes. Rolling over into a fetal position on one side. Staying here for a second. Until you're ready, keeping the eyes closed, we're gonna lift ourselves up using the hands into our cross-legged position. Hands come onto the knees, keep those eyes closed. And we're just gonna take one final deep breath here together. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. And when you're ready, just blink those eyelids back open, nice and gradually. And I'm gonna pop over, grab yourself a drink, guys. I'm just gonna come over and see how we're doing. Did anyone fall asleep? No, great work. <laughs> Thought I was gonna fall asleep at one point. <laughs> well done guys. So just a few things after today's stretching, make sure that you stay nice and hydrated always, but definitely for the next 24 hours. We really deeply stretch today, um, which means our muscles need a lot to kind of recover from it. If you're heading out for a run tomorrow, you may feel a little bit heavy to begin with. Um, but that will soon ease off and you should feel the benefits of all that deep stretching in no time. If you've got any questions, I'll stay on the call now. Next week, as always, we've got our three classes again. So Tuesday, strength at 6 p.m. And on Thursday, 
and Sunday stretching at 6 p.m. again. Uh, the timetable for May is also now up on the website. So if you're looking to get um, booked in for any classes across May, they are all now live as well. There's a couple of Sundays which don't have stretching just because they're bank holiday weekends. But other than that, everything else is exactly the same. But you'll all be out sunning yourselves. So there's no point in me being here on bank holiday weekends. <laughs> Fab guys. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening and I will stay here in case anyone has any questions, but enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.